here we are. Oh, there we are live on TV too. Come on up, sir. Please, st please state your name for our astute yes. secretary here. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is uh, Dick Brunel. I am the managing uh, member of Round Top Realty, which owns the property at uh, 158 Deering Center Road and uh, operates um, HE Paintball, which is um, obviously the paintball park operation there. In front of you should be uh, an application that we submitted um, uh, for a, con a, con yeah, a conceptual uh, design review um, for work that we're currently doing on the property. Um, we, um, we presently have a demolition permit to take down the, the house and the barn, which exists on the, uh, that, sorry, the house and the L, which uh, exists on the property now. And we're currently renovating the uh, barn structure. It needed some, uh, some repairs. Uh, we're currently doing that um, as we speak. Um, the, um, the purpose for this, uh, this review is that uh, as we proceed with this work, our intention is to, um, to improve the, obviously if, if you've been by the property, the property is old and, and, and the buildings in definitely uh, continuous need of repair simply by their age. Uh, the, barn the barn structure is the one that is currently being used um, to operate the, the paintball business and the house is currently not occupied. Um, the, um, the purpose of the work we're doing now, uh, the first phase of this work, is to repair the barn structurally to, to continue to maintain it as a, as a safe and, and sound structure. Um, and to remove the L, which would enable us to access the property from the center driveway. There are three basic access driveways to that property. Um, the um, center one is, is the most, is the, basically the safest, with the better views of the road. Um, and our intention is with the L down to utilize that as the main axis for the property blocking off the other two. Um, we are, our intention is to proceed with that work, uh, do grading accordingly to access the parking areas in the back, uh, improve the visibility of the property from the front, uh, and, and, and again, uh, continue with demolishing the, uh, the, the house itself uh, as well. And at this phase, um, our efforts and our resources are, are planned to be put into the barn and the, the business that operates uh, AG Paintball. Um, and we have no plans to re-erect the house. Um, um, and we're here to present that, 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 uh, that view to you and to get your opinion as to whether um, that can be done or not. Uh, Paul Rabito was here as well. He's also a member of uh, Round Top uh, Realty LLC. How do you spell your name? R O B I T O. First name Paul. Uh, we are the only two uh, um, uh, members of, of Round Top. We have the two owners of the property. Um, and again, we'd be interested in so getting your opinion. So, you want our opinion on tearing the house and the L down and eliminating well, two we, driveways, basically? We have the d demolition permit for, to remove the house. Um, the, the main situation here is that we don't want to replace the house. We want to leave the property <clears throat> landscaped with the barn, uh, central access through the, the, that main driveway that's there now, um, and, and, and not, not put up a residence. Why would we tear? Um, well, I, there are several factors at play here. Part of this land is in the historic district. It's in the rural ag um, conservation yeah. overlay. Yeah. Yeah. And back multiple years ago, my the only thing that I can assume was that it was a commercial use granted in um, a rural ag zone. Mm -hmm. And somehow these guys are of the opinion that they've got to leave the house in order to continue the commercial operation, which I don't think they do. Well, the only thing that I could think of that would cause that train of thought was if it was granted as an accessory use. I cannot find anything. I have looked well, you, every file that I have. You look familiar. You were the one in here yes, a while ago. Yeah, last year. Alex uh, operates Ch Ch Explosive Ch Changing. Industries, which actually operates the business. Yeah, and he property. was requesting to change some hours. Yeah. Right. Correct. Right. Yes, yeah, yes. Never, no, yes. we never proceeded with that. Right. <coughs> Didn't we have a site plan at that meeting? There is a site plan, but it 
When it was done, it was just a hieroglyphic drawing. Yeah, it showing, wasn't much. Yeah, it, you know, it showed the house, it showed the barn, it showed the outline of the land, and that was just about it. What about the application, the original application? No, it doesn't exist. What, is your intention to expand the paintball business there? No. No. The, um, the, the, really, the, the intention is, because the house is not being utilized and is in disrepair, uh, it's not a hazard, but we would like the property to look better than it does. Yeah, nice and, and rather than having to put resources in a house that we don't feel is, 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 can be renovated, if we remove it, we put, we put our, our uh, emphasis on the barn, make it look prettier, more in line with our, you know, the neighborhood, and uh, just pretty up the property. Now, um, I can picture the property, the L you're talking about, is that attached to the house or the barn? It both, connects. Both connects, connects it connects them through, yes. And um, the area where the house is being removed, will that just be created over yes. and seeded or something? Yes. It, would, it definitely would be great yes. and seeded. And, um, and again, uh, one of the big, uh, one of the larger aspects of this is because that central driveway on the property that serviced the barn and the house, is, is definitely the best access of the property given the, the layout of the road uh, by removing the L in the house that enables us to use that driveway to service the property and get rid of the two on the sides. The, the perimeter of the paintball layout won't change. No, sir. No, sir. It will, it will look a lot better. It will look better, that's it. And be more attractive to anybody driving by if we want to put up a nice white fence and put up some landscaping. I would say that's it over there. And how, how long is that going to stay white? <laughs> and I well, don't see that being in it. It might last a long time. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, we don't shoot the fence. That's way in the back. That's way in the back, yeah. This is on the street. Tom, you should be concerned because they're taking down a house, so they're going to reduce their property taxes. Tom's a selectman. Well, I, 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 obviously, I kind of thought that was going to be a question. Yeah. Um, that's not the intent of this. That's, that's the effect. Okay. Uh, I understand. Uh, a question, if I may. Did you you say you have a demolition permit? Doesn't that require a thirty or a ninety day waiting period? We had that last year. We year ago. So it's all taken yes, care. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what part of this property is within the Mount Dearborn Road Historic District? Um, I have a zoning map. I would imagine you guys do. It's, it's, the, it's the it's the back. It's the back. It's triangular. The, the, I guess it would be the, the rear north, northeast I, I side just, I just had of the property. Seconds ago. Because it's, it has to be 1,200 feet from Mount Dearborn Road. Oh, well, it is. He's, it's beyond that. He's not, really? May I? The, bar, the bar's not really... May I approach yeah. the bench? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. Henry. This is Lord. a table, not a bench. This is, uh, this is, this is terrible. But, um, if you look at this forest road, this is, this is actually unimproved, but it comes across on Eva's property. This is our lot. This is uh, one the Deering Center Road. Right. This is our property. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is, but our house is the house and the barn are right up here. It's a I tiny dot up here. Barn, and, and 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 this is where we're 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 acting. We want to act and take the house down. This is the historic district right back here. This is the line Ooh, for the really? historic district. Yes. Sir. I didn't know it extended down that far. So you're I have several of these. You can keep yeah. that. So um, you're going to leave that building. Well, that's where we actually operate the business yeah, out of, and, and that's where we're putting all of our resources. And then, so it's the bounce pretty size, right? And yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it is. So, question for you, Chip. If part of a property is within a district, is the whole property? No. Just the part that's within the district. The part that's within that district. So they're not doing anything in the part that's within the district, and therefore that's not a relevant factor. Okay. What's the rural conservation overlay district? It increases the size of the land required for. Not anymore. It's five acres only, just like rural ag. Yeah, but we didn't take that out. We we went we went round and round with George Millette over this, and you managed to you you took because rural conservation used to be four acres. Right, right. It was double the size of the lot. And right. then we, we went then, to five. We then changed zo regular zoning to five acres, right. and George could not comprehend that if we, he had regular zoning that he'd have an extra acre in that conservation district. And he fought it tooth and nail, and I don't think we made anything now in the rural conservation district five acres, but we didn't take the term 
rural okay. conservation out. What part of the, the this rural conservation does not get the 10% density bonus for a cluster? That's the difference in the two, uh, two zones. Okay. What part of the property is within the rural conservation district? The whole thing. All of it. The whole thing. Yeah. yeah. So that's four acres. Five. Five. But he's got more than five acres. Right. But he's but it's it's irrelevant at this yeah. point because he's not adding yeah. he's not subdividing. Right. The only okay. issue I see is currently has a pre existing you know, yeah, mixed that. use. Well, that's what I thought was that that, that's the only only issue I can see is right now there's technically two uses on the property. If you take down the house and don't build a house in a year, you don't have the use anymore. But I don't well, think he cares. It's but a, but he's effectively you can always get it back. But he's effectively it board. but he is effectively converting what is a what? residential mm -hmm. property what? with an exception an into an entirely two commercial two property. Yeah. And that's a problem. Well that was my question. Is it two primary uses? Now that's why he's here. Yes, it was exactly accessory right. use. I, I assume it's two primary uses now. Pre existing somehow. And then the other question that comes up is, if he's going to expand the parking, is that going to trigger the need for a site plan? Because we're not expanding the parking. Well, if you're going to park where the house was, you are. No, that our intention that's isn't to. Uh, the, the only thing that we are going to change is, the, again, the center driveway that serves the house and the, the barn. Access. We're going to extend that to, to what is now an existing area of the park. It doesn't change anything on the site plan that right. has. Okay. So yeah, exactly. Did it? Uh, was it allowable in this district because it was a home business and now we're removing the home? Well, kind of my question. I, I don't yes. know, and I've been trying to find that out ever since they mentioned that somebody told them that they had to maintain the home in order to keep the business. Where is the Rural Conservation Overlay District? I'm having trouble finding that. Did we put that Page somewhere 49. else? 49. 49? Oh, I was at 50. By looking at the site plan that he's got, I would say that they predated zoning. Um, not possible with that. How long have you operated the paintball park? Or um, not you, but how long has that park been operated on that site? 1985, I believe. Yeah, that predated zoning. So it, it predated uh, zoning. I believe from the present, from the previous owners, it's my understanding that they formed sometime around 1985. That they were actually really? operating it? Yes. And then it went quiet for a while? No. No, it, it continues. It just, it's been continuous. When did you pick it? When did you buy we it? We purchased the property and, and moved our operation onto it in 2007. And what happened between 85 and 2007? They, they, they operated a paintball field. The whole time? Really? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, that was the, when we looked to purchase this, yeah, we had discussions sense. at that time uh, with Naomi. Um, we weren't even going to consider it if there was going to be a requirement that, that there was going to have to be full reviews and changes and all this. The fact that it had been operating as one, even though we were moving basically our equipment on, we were doing the very same thing that it's always done. We were operating that same paintball operation basically in the same format that they were doing, except with our equipment. That's all not theirs. It's been a little bit since then, but it was a paintball place then. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so it's so it's pre-existing non-conforming use. Right. So the only issue would be if you want to put the house back. I think it's the only issue. I, I don't see. If you want to build another. What residence about farm. Bruce's point that if you take the house away, you're making the use more non-conforming? Pre-existing non-conforming use. Period. Correct. But it was it was a house and a non-conforming use. Well, the house was legitimate. Right, the non-conforming. Wasn't non-conforming when they built it. There's one of the ordinances. There was no zoning. Correct. But but zoning came along and said A, B, and C. Yeah, but if it's grandfather. Because there's no that I could find minutes of meetings, site plans, well, all yeah, that. Because zoning didn't start to what eight, eight, The chicken seven? scratching that I've got in the files, that there's no record of this whatsoever. But it's not a home based business because the people haven't people operating the business haven't lived in the house and it's not and it's pretty clear to me that that wouldn't be a home-based business if it came before right. us anew right. but that's to me the, the the question I'm trying to figure out is if they had clearly it was a legitimate use at the time it was put on because there was no zone okay zoning then comes in and says in this particular zone uh, it's a residential zone yep 
and really? find they had a grandfathered commercial use. They're now proposing to take away the residential part of that zone and continue the grandfathered use. So five years from today, they decide, you know, we really want to get rid of the paintball park and put in a McDonald's. Better go for a variance five years for McDonald's. <laughs> well, clearly they can continue the yes. paintball park. Yes. But would they be... I think any change of use would require a variance. That's what we were talking a variance, about. A variance or a site plan review? Right. Certainly a site plan review, but I think also a variance. Even if it's another commercial use, which they are... Well, if it was something allowed in the RA zone, it wouldn't need a variance, but otherwise it would. I think if this did not predate zoning, then we would need a variance even now. But since it predates zoning, then I don't see it as we have too much say in it. You would have say if they wanted to put the house back because they'd have to do a site plan at that time. But that would then likely get a variance to go with it. But that would be a real problem if they tried to put the house back. Well, that's that's an excellent question because our intention is that, as as the the application said, we have no intention to do so now, but at some point we may. Um, the house right now is located fairly close to the road, and if we were to consider anything like that, we wouldn't want to put it in the same place. We would probably want to change the location on the property. Yes. That so I'm assuming sense. we would have to come for permits yes. and all of that and <laughs> but I guess normal review. But it may what we're saying is that this is a situation where while what you say might be the case if this were if if everything you had done had been put together on under zoning since it was grandfathered, mm -hmm. it's a different it may be. We're struggling with this as you can see. Yeah. No, I understand. It, it's a different yeah. set of rules. I understand. And and Please understand that we're not trying to make this hard for you, but we want to understand ourselves what we're doing so that we can be consistent in our, in our application sure. of the rules so when someone else comes along, they don't get treated any different from the way you're treated. Sure, I understand. Okay, but I am glad that, that was brought up because I mean, at some point we, we may very well come back and ask, you know, come, come in with a plan to build a house. You know, with all of the sure. Documents. Ten years from today you decide to get out of the paintball business sure. because mm -hmm. the federal government has so regulated it, it's no fun for anyone and nobody's playing anymore. I understand that. Right. <laughs> and so you've got a piece of property and yes. what are you going to do with it? So you, yes, I could see very sure. well see you converting into farming. That would, that, yeah, that, that would require us or but we're trying to figure out whether or not this is so unusual that that would require a variance or whether it just requires a site plan review to change the use from commercial back to residential hmm. so um, so so and, and since it is it, 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 it's 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 re, is it it's rural it's rural egg rural egg it's not even residential right now right what? Right. Rural ag with a conservation overlay. Yeah, gotcha. And the Mount Dearborn overlay. But the I Mount Dearborn that. overlay is not relevant in this case, right? Because no, it doesn't because cover it the property. It's not in that. The rural any, ag is, and the rural ag is a residential zone. And he's got the amount of acres that the conservation overlay wouldn't impact it either. Yeah, Why is that? Acres. More than five acres. Five acres. We've got 28 acres here. So the total question I, is the I, use. I, so I think I think personally, right now, I think he has a pre-existing non-conforming use of the paintball, and also non-conforming because there's two u two primary uses on the property. And the house is non-conforming because it's in the setbacks. On, it's in the setbacks. Yes, but he's getting rid of one of the uses. But, but, but he's, yeah, but he's. So he's less non-conforming. He's less non-conforming because he's taken the Get setback rid of issue out. Get rid of the setback issue and the, and the two uses on one property. Yeah. Okay, five years from today, they decide they want to put in a residential development there. They're going to knock the barn down or convert the barn into a clubhouse or whatever. Yep. And they've got 28 acres at four acres each or five, five acres. Five. Yep. Uh, they put in five houses, the rest of the land is whatever. Or maybe they go for a cluster and put in a few more houses and there's some more open space. What process? Would they have to go through in order to do that? Get a demolition permit for the building and apply for a subdivision. But would there be a problem because they're demolishing or eliminating their business? 
They can stop working the business tomorrow when they're in the problem. Mm -hmm. right. No, I, I, I mean, that they could do. The question is if they want to develop the land further, does the fact that they've stopped the business in any way have an adverse or a positive impact on their subsequent use of the property? As long as, they, as long as they stop the use, it doesn't have any impact at all. Okay. Eliminating a non-conforming use. Another non-conforming use. Okay, let's assume they want let's to put in a development to keep the paintball park. Now they got a problem. <laughs> Serious problem. Yes, I don't know how we can buffer the houses for the paintball. <laughs> Why, why do they have a serious problem? The, the Hillary's going to take the, and the houses. What? Hillary's going to take the paintball guns. She's gonna no, she's going to take the air cartridges that fire the pellets yeah. because <laughs> they could be used in nefarious ways. Gentlemen, <laughs> no, no. the election is in November. <laughs> 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 um, going to agriculture probably produce some funky colored vegetables. Yes. Yeah. But, but if they wanted to keep the paintball operation, and put in houses. They want to maximize the value of the property and they think that's the way to do it. Would they have to get a variance? It's to a go back to residential. It's a, it's a mixed use at the time of the site plan. Well, if they're doing a subdivision, they're creating a lot with the paintball park on it and creating, for lack of another right, word, at, just at the another time lot. Of subdivision, you a would require a site plan and yes. B more than likely require that they get a variance from one or the other regulations that they're I don't think so. If you did if they did the subdivision kept the barn and the paintball park on one lot, they're making two lots and they have another lot that's gonna be residential. How many acres would have to be on the barn? Five? Yes. Okay. So now they got twenty three. Let's keep it simple. Say they're making 20 acres with the paintball park and eight acres with the residence. You're subdividing off a lot to build a house. Yes. Okay. Joe wants to move in next door. They can't do a mixed use. They're going to subdivide a lot off, and Joe's going to live in the, in the house. Right. What's non conforming about it? They got a pre existing non conforming paintball park, and they have a conforming lot, or lot beside it once they do the subdivision. And the same thing would be true if it were five acres and 23 acres. Yeah. Now they're going to subdivide tomorrow just because you brought it up. I'm recording Please. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. if, 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 these, if these guys haven't thought about that, they're not the business oh, people but, but, who but, deserve but, to be <laughs> operating a profitable paint. Let me remind paint you the conceptual part. discussions are non-binding. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I don't, I don't see where any action is required by this moment. I don't think so. I mean, you've got your demolition permit. The, yeah, house is mm -hmm. gone. the only thing that wouldn't was if they expanded with well, the houses in the parking or something. Or yeah, their yeah. question really was if they took the house down, which they are entitled to do, if that would impact the commercial aspect of the, the property. Of the country, right? And I did not think that it would, but you guys are the ones that make that decision. I agree. I don't think it does. Move the excavator in tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, they came one. Like, yeah, two days ago, they were there. Was, was, uh, <laughs> we had to send them away. <laughs> <laughs> Guy shows up like, you guys ready for the excavator? I was like, I am not so. quite yet, no. though. <laughs> was that better? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So that afternoon we went down. He was putting in a septic gun at the uh, the uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a question. Is there? Uh, must be bathroom facilities within the barn. There are what? No, we have uh, we have a, a portable unit, uh, fully flushable, flushable, yeah. lit, air conditioned portable unit for that. So there's a septic system on the property. There is a septic system that serviced the house that's that's on the property. Yes, sir. But it is it, it only serviced the house, not not the, the portable unit has a bladder, and we have it pumped out when right. oh, okay. once every other week. Once every other week. It's like a Okay. Not many people have seen those. It's, it's pretty. It's, cool. it's a really they're, nice. They're state uh, of the art. They really are. They're, they are. They're, it's it's an excellent unit. It's fully. It's a full. It without a shower, water, it's a full they bath. Can wash their hands. Yes. Um, you step on a pedal and everything flushes into the bladder and it's clean. How is the bladder emptied? It's serviced the just the like they service. The it's, pumped it's, it's pumped out. It's it's pumped out. Every two yes. weeks. Yes. The yes. bladder is not physically removable. Oh no. No. It's pumped out every couple weeks. 
They've kind of replaced the job site Johnny's. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a high-end job site yeah. Johnny. Yeah. They, put those, they put those at fairgrounds and stuff like that. Yeah, too. they do. Yeah. yeah. Actually, and they have some. My son is. We have a men's room and a ladies room. They actually have units nice. now that have full showers. My yeah. son is an avid biker. He bikes in all of these big uh, uh, fundraisers and stuff. And they got full trailers that come in with showers and everything else. These days. Well, I gotta stop it, by is anyone the using these in residential for residential houses? These types of affordable units? Yes. No. Not yes, well, if you have running yeah. water, you can have a septic system. Yeah. yeah. And a fixed structure. Not if you're house. recording it. I mean, not if you're uh, not putting it into the ground. If you have running water. Yeah. You have water to have in, system. water out. Just chip won't give you, you a better have a septic system. And if all it is it's is gray water, then you can get a DES approved dry well. You, you mean to say you wouldn't give a house a permit using this bladder system? No. No. Really? No. Where Where is he going to run his, his gray water from the kitchen sink? It runs it into the bladder. Everything goes into the bladder. It takes the place of a septic it's, system. But it's it requires only, pumping. It's a, it's a temporary situation. Is this bladder underground? No, it's, no, a it's, a, it's, it's not a, a truck. It's a, it's a unit. It's, it's, it, a, it's a trailer on wheels. The trailer I see. starts up fully on the ground. Right. There's a skirt around it. Got it. I never climbed under it, but I assume. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you walk up two or three steps and you're on a platform. If you right. If, 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 if you don't get wet, there's a pl there's a bladder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if there wasn't, we would know about it. I, I think we should con continue this for two weeks to have him corner the trailer, come back and report on what he did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have anything to say about you tearing the house down, except be Just wary. please do a nice job on the barn. We're going to make the barn. You know, really that's, it's, that's, that is our drive. Really we, 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 we've talked about lots of things with this farm, but we want to keep it. We want to historically preserve it as best we can, continue to maintain it, make it look prettier than it does, along with the property around it. That's the whole idea. And centralizing that driveway using the, the central driveway is a big the driveway is a big it's a big issue for well, us. why is yeah. the lower like driveway it's the tough getting out of there there's one way up top the lower driveway is tough and the upper driveway is stuck. So I, I, I drive that road quite a bit it's 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 a challenge so, yeah, <laughs> if you're in the middle now you can see well to the bottom well to the top safety sight lanes are are adequate for are your property. customers complaining about access no no we are we're concerned simply we, because we it's, it, the, the central driveway is the better. It's, it's a safer, been better. People hit there, better drive before. There was an accident out there last year, wasn't there? Well, a kid came flying over the yeah. hill and slammed. Yeah, he, he actually ran into our neighbor's property, but on the ensuing lawsuits, it was the issue was raised that you know our driveway was not a, I think they said a permitted driveway or something like that. Again, that started the, the whole ago, issue for us to look for a better, that. even though we weren't driven to. We wanted to find a better option. Yeah, if somebody would get killed plowing your driveway and not a permanent driveway, you'd have had a problem. And, and that's the issue. Even though, it, well, it, actually in this accident, which was minor, um, so there, was, there was lawsuits. We were dragged in. They, the, it was determined that the fault was the person who exited our driveway stopped in the middle of the road. That caused the accident. But because the permit issue simply came up, every, and of course we were insured, Everything else went away, and we were the ones that were brought to court. And of course, they got their settlement from our insurance company. Well, how, how long ago was that driveway made, though? There weren't any permits issued until '71. Uh, actually, this driveway is central to the property. Whenever this barn and house were up, that driveway's been there forever. Yeah. Been there and they called that unpermitted driveway. Well, well, well no, I, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Um, that that the central driveway that we want to use was not the one we were using. The lower one. And that's what they, okay. they, it was said that, that that was not permanent. Well, it's, it was, it was okay. implied that it was not permanent. Correct. There was never any confirmation from any government body that it was unpermitted. The state road, they require how, how much of a... How they do, yeah. 200 feet. So back 200 feet, feet yeah. But that's that's, when that's actually, order. it's 400 feet. Well, 200, 200 each way. No, 400 each way. 400 we just each thought way. that, yeah. we just thought that we want the property to look nice. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put all our dough into the barn and make it really shine okay the house has had it. it really has had it. Um, if we're eliminating the piece that connects the barn to the house that's going to be the access coming out of that you're up 
You're not down on the bottom Correct. anymore. You're up, and you can see up the road, down the road. So exiting, we're not going to have any more, any more problems. Unless somebody is totally We, we have a new sign ordinance, too, that may work your benefits. So you might want to look at that. Okay. What's that? So we have a new sign ordinance. Oh, really? We, want, we, okay. want it, we really? don't want to change the landscape. We want it to look rural. We want it to look like an old, beautiful barn. Your, your sign is gorgeous in the sense that it's about as big as you can get. It looks like uh, some of the signs you used to see on old tobacco barns. Right. You know, that kind of a thing. Yes. Right. I don't see how the new sign would benefit. Well, probably got to move it by the new driveway, wouldn't it? They don't and, and the isn't your sign just the on, the, on the barn? Yeah. Coming up 149. Yeah, so is there there used to be a road sign a on a hinge, sign and that passed sign away on several years ago, and we never replaced that one. No, because you, your sign is... It's just on the barn, so it, if you're coming up from the country store, that's yeah. the cemetery, when you come around that lower bend, you see our sign on the big, pretty barn. And 95% of your traffic probably comes it's that way. coming from that. Oh, yes, yeah. it does, yes. yes. We, we People that slam into out. trees <coughs> come from the other direction yeah, in the rain. Okay, we finished? Your timeline. I, I don't think it's our jurisdiction. What's your timeline? It's going to go, it's gonna go slow. Our contractor um, is, is going to take his time with it. Um, um, We're hoping to, uh, we'll start uh, some of the uh, structural work for the barn to, to prepare for, for dropping the L this fall. Um, and I presume the L will come down in the spring. Hopefully the house next year as well. It's not, yeah. Is I mean, Dean going to do way. that? Sorry. Right now, yes. Is He's uh, yeah, right. Yeah. I think he understands the value of the beams that are in there. Oh, he does. He, and he understands our we had a, value we of the beams. We had talked to, you know, those fellows that buy old buildings. I mean, we're talking 1700s for this house. And the beams are... Well, at least some portions of it. And they're house. peg. And human peg. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and we called the company way back a few years ago and asked them, is there any value? And they, they came and looked and they said, no. What, what we're going to get out of this house it doesn't yeah, justify that, us taking it apart board by That's board. the house, not the barn. The barn, the barn probably the barn has more value in its structure. <laughs> but the people that preceded us in this house long ago had tried to modernize it, took saws to it, took out the nice staircases, yeah, they did no. a lot and, of and pretty much took out anything that was of value to it. So it, it's it's put us in this position to unfortunately take it down. So you mean all the paneling and all that's got, it was all gutted. There's still a few nice. Like the cabinet doors and stuff that go to date back to the period. We're going to obviously try we'll to preserve those. Yeah, we'll, stuff, take, we'll take that. Yes. Um, but as far as the, the physical bones well, of the place. Well, I hope you can save the timbers because you could use those in restoring the barn. Yes. Well, Dean's, actually, we. has got that in mind. There are sections <laughs> of the barn that we're going to uh, <clears throat> alter. And so anything that we're able to retrieve from that will go into the. the Supporting the new structures that we're we're going to do to take care of the section that's going to have to be uh, filled in after we remove the L. So. Okay. I don't think it's our jurisdiction. I think I people agree. think the board agrees. I agree. I don't think we need to vote on it. Huh? No. Nope. Nope. Do we need to submit something formally to get an? Just, or we're just we're fine. Go ahead and operate and have a good, stay yep. in touch with Tim Chip. Okay, that's yep. great. Gentlemen, Staying in touch with Chip is very important. Oh, <laughs> trust me, we, we found that out the easy way and the hard way. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody in Weir has been great to us since we got here um, seven or eight years ago. Um, we, we just wanted to make sure that we cross all the T's, dot all the I's, no, make sure that everything is the way we all want it to be, not, you know. Um, and the, other, the other thing we really like you to do yes. is whatever the house is, the value of the house is worth, Make sure you put that much into improvements in the barn so your tax rate doesn't go up. <laughs> we, will, we will absolutely try. <laughs> you, know, you know, actually, the, you know, the, the relationship between towns and its citizenry are, 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 is, is legit. I mean, you know, you got the town exists on the revenue it receives from us. Right. We know it's a two-sided street. We understand it, too. I do have a question. Is there a risk for us later, five, ten years down the road, that a new planning board is going to go, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. That, that, there's a small risk of that. The larger risk is that the zoning ordinance changes, but that's a risk that everybody always right. has. Exactly. I mean, there's still, there's still not pre, pre Every, every pre year in the, the town, 
right. I won't say every year, but almost every year there are some changes to the zoning ordinances. Mm -hmm. Most of them are technical corrections right. or tweaks. Every so often there's a, a policy change. Right. But either uh, way, they're pre-existing non-conforming. Right. So. That's with your current use. But the point is, if you want to put in the subdivision or if you no, want to do no, something no, else. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Say, Dick and I don't buy green bananas anymore, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're not that old. Know. You're not speak, that old. Speak, speak for yourself. <laughs> 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 he had the cancer. I had the cancer. Yeah. I had the knee replacement. I had the heart attack. I'm ahead of you guys. <laughs> I, I, I think <laughs> once, <laughs> once, once you go ahead with this operation, you're effectively grandfathered. Should another board take a different view, and because yeah. there's going to be some sort of a record of this. Okay. I take it, Chip, yeah, you do something. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be writing right something. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, then, <laughs> then, <laughs> then when, when we review these minutes, make sure that make yeah. sure the minutes fully reflect what the board is saying. You, you're writing the minutes. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling us? <laughs> because what I write may not be what fully reflects what you guys are I saying. So I check it. I that question because things change. Uh, yes. And people change. Yes. Um, <laughs> my, my sister once had a uh, home business in North Andover, and her husband was a dentist, and they gave all the approvals for it. And then the board changed a few years later, cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars to shut it down. And there wasn't anything they could do, and they, they ended up losing their home because of, because of that. So what I'm state? Massachusetts. Yeah. You know the one that the, those guys, we all moved up here. The, the only thing that could change that could adversely affect you that I could think of, and it probably doesn't have much to do with this board, is a health regulation change. Um, paintball splattering is dangerous to the health, and somebody makes that determination, you're out of business. Sure, of course. Well, we understand that. Now, actually, that, that very thing was came about in this industry back in the 80s. MSDS um, sheets. And, with MSDS, and, and the paintball formula had been changed at that time, was changed to a biodegradable, and it's been that way ever since. So, oh, I was but, thinking. But that said, yeah, I understand that. If there was something like that, obviously we'd have to abide well, by it. Let's assume the physical splat right. in some way is now yes. determined to cause yeah. cancer. Yeah, exactly. No, we understand that. We're surrounded by those risks every day. So yeah. All of us. All of us. Everybody are, is, yeah. yes. No matter what. Okay. What's that? Thank you. Great. Thank you, Thomas. Yep. Thanks very much. Very well. Gentlemen, thank, thank you very thank much. You. Pleasure thank meeting you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate your advice. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> well, I try really hard. You can dance me sometimes. Are you guys, you're only open weekends now, right? Yes. Yeah, we do the private games during the week as the but only on a general, on a yeah, on an advertised basis, just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. in private by, by appointment. And it, mention that switch down in the bathroom downstairs. So this is yeah, yeah. Again. Be, be, before you go. Are there a certain number of people who have to participate in order for the game to be fun? No. One My, person? Well, actually, if one person wants to fire at targets, then so be it. That's no, no, no. Way. But if you if you're trying to play a game, hunt each other down. Well, well you, you need to be playing against each other. And I say that because I have two grandchildren from Rhode Island that I bring up every once in a while, and they're a bit timid, so they, they, they don't like to join the group. So the two of them play with each other, but they have a heck of a time. But on a Saturday, if there was only two players. It would be no fun for us. <laughs> no, I got that. <laughs> but the there point is, no remodeling anything. <laughs> yes. If, if five be, guys come up and another five guys come up, that's more than enough to. to oh, sure. Yeah. We, what we do is we put the novices together so they can play at their own happy level, and the guys that are all, da -da -da, those guys have their own game. Do you have night games? No. Then they are done that. <laughs> that's not, an, not here. That's not an accident looking for a place uh, to have. We had another paintball field in Wyndham, New Hampshire. It was the largest, one of the largest in the country. And we were on leased property for 26 or 7 years. And we, we, we thought everybody was after us. You got to run night games. So we thought, okay, we'll give it a shot. We got those things that light up around you and they're like the glow go oh, cool. yeah. things, you know. So everybody was crashing into trees. <laughs> they were all exhausted the next morning, right? They were all passed out in the field with, in between parking and a grass field. They are all passed out. And nobody went up on Saturday because they were playing yeah. all night long. 
So we looked at each other and went, wow, this is a waste of, this is a waste <laughs> of time. Not to mention the safety issue of guys are running in the woods to trip factor. Yeah, one more tree. Tree factor, you know. Alex operates so. different size fields. So if five guys came up at five on five, even three on three, Alex would have an appropriate field size to go over and have a great time. If we have 20 on 20, we have a size field for that. So. Any number. The, the, the property is chopped up into different sites. Do you guys get the apartments? You got a big beef about We have a feel for you. <laughs> Are you using that triangle in the back? The the, uh, the part the, that's in the, the historic park. district. Sure. Yeah, that's part of the open land. Yes, sir. Does that change anything? Pre-existing non-conforming. Sorry, Neil. <laughs> you know, there are no structures on that. We simply use yeah. the, the property. That's okay. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good night. Okay, good night. <coughs> the only else on the agenda is subdivision regs. In between the last two months, I think we've kind of beat them up pretty good. Uh, mm, uh, to we've, the gone over, we've gone over uh, a number of them. Uh, I had some technical changes. I don't know that we've really had a discussion of the changes that you proposed, because some of yours were substantive, or at least... Well, more technical than mine were. Hmm. And the other thing that we haven't done is to have a discussion um, with uh, the fire department, the police department, the say. highway department we, about we road sizes. We're getting the road geometry. You ought to get yeah. those three people in here if we can. Can you just let me know when you want them here kicking and screaming? Two minutes. Well, we can't do it this month. Oh, okay. We have to post it. <laughs> get the guys out. No, you don't have to post it. No, we have to invite him. Please. Yeah, yeah. We invite him. Yeah. Right, but it's not a. No, I'm not going to call that. Sean Kelly right now and say, "Come over here." The planning board wants to. Yeah, see call him. I've got I'll put the answer on speakerphone. You want to okay. invite him for the uh, first meeting in September or October? First, or second? Oh, first, first, yeah. September eighth. Okay. I um. You made a chart. I made a chart um, of what the standards are in Deering, Hopkinton, Ware, and then what the Southern New Hampshire Planning Commission had as a recommendation. Right, or down, Neil has a chart. I'm sorry? Right, you can put that in the minutes and Neil has a chart, yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, and it shows, um, it, 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 all of these organizations basically have their road width determined by the amount of traffic. Right, which okay? is. And, and it varies, ours is the greatest. Uh, of all of the, the these three, uh, our neighbors in uh, Southern New Hampshire planning. But it, just to give you an idea, I thought this might be interesting kind of information. So I will email this to everyone. Okay. Okay. Did Tom do one of those too? Tom I had everybody a packet. That yes. Took all of the surrounding towns. Any anything that's contiguous with, right. with where? Uh, Could I get copies of both of those to send to the? Uh, people that you want to appear here to discuss road widths so that they know what they're getting into. I gave a packet. Well, you were going to email this to everybody. You email it to me. Oh, okay. Including yeah, yeah. Email. yeah, yeah. I always do. Whatever list. Yeah. Okay. Give this to Chip. Do I have this? Yeah, we'll get that yeah, to Tom a couple weeks ago. Yeah, do you I have that electronically, Tom? No, I don't because it's, it's from each different website. Will we scan an email to you? I can scan it here. I think. I gotta check to see if I have that because I don't remember reading that when I made my chart. Craig might not have one. I don't know if you can see the ID. I gave him one before he left. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. We had the Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, nope. Turn to your next page. I may be missing. Got anything that looks like standards? Yeah, this has gotta be Tom's. Yes. Okay, so I'm missing the first two pages. What are the first, first page only? First page. Okay, these collector material. Got it. Okay. From the town of Deering. Yeah, I'll find that somewhere. Okay. Great. So we're already the home. Make the motion. So let's, let's make sure we invite them for September 8th. I will do that. Okay. Did you make a motion? Uh, is that the police department, police fire department? In the highway. In the highway. Yes. So are we holding on minutes until Tina gets back? Oh, yeah. 
I would we, recommend that. Yeah. Um, did we want you to take down all of our changes that we had? We could do that. Let's be kind. Move to adjourn. We may need a meal may need for another night. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.